Well, please excuse that I'm hot and sweaty. I'm building a fence today, and it's, uh, it's pretty hot outside. So we're in Matthew chapter 8, starting in verse 28. It says, When he came to the other side, into the country of the Gergesenes, or many translations say Gadarenes, two people possessed by demons met him there. We're talking about Jesus. Coming out of the tombs, these two men, exceedingly uh, fierce, so that nobody could pass that way. Behold, they cried out, saying, What do you have to do with what do we have to do with you, Jesus, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us uh, before the time? So these are two demon-possessed, it says people, so I'm not sure if it's men or not. It might say that uh, later. But two people possessed by demons, and nobody could pass by that way. And so here's what I wrote. I wrote, the presence of God will open up paths previously blocked by evil. Simply stay with him. So the disciples were able to go through an area... And, you know, that was, that was stopped by the devils, demon-possessed people, and they were able to go through that area and actually help these guys. And they would not have been able to do that without Jesus. So this is a great tip for ministry. Many times we try to minister in ways that Jesus doesn't want us to, right? We try to go directions that he didn't ask us to go in. And so what we've got to do is let him be the leader and understand that as you follow Jesus in ministry, Everything is going to get out of your way. All evil is going to get out of your way. Because these demons are afraid of them. They, they asked, have you come to torment us before the time? Because they know their destiny because they've, they've turned their back on God. They've, they, and I'm going to say in a little bit what their purpose is, but they've changed their purpose. And, and they will be tormented for it because they're tormenting us. They're tormenting God. They're tormenting God by tormenting us. Um, and so... You know they're afraid of him, and just realize that man. That's a good thing to, to to realize is that demons are afraid of Jesus. So when you stay with Jesus in ministry, wherever you go, wherever God leads you, demons are afraid of you, not because of your power, but because you're following God and God is with you and God is in that ministry. So just realize that. Isn't that great? Demons are afraid of these videos. Why are they afraid of these videos? Because I'm preaching truth that sets people free, and they want to destroy people. So here's what it says. Now there was a herd of many pigs, this is verse 30, feeding far away from them. The demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, permit us to go away into the herd of pigs. So it sounds like demons would rather possess something than nothing, right? They, they, the only influence they have in this world is to, is to go through something, a physical creature. May you not be someone who's, who's submitted to demonic ideas and, and don't let Satan use you. Uh, Jesus said to them, Go. They came out and went into the herd of pigs, and behold, the whole herd of pigs rushed down the cliff into the sea and died in the water. Isn't that crazy? They, you know, they asked to be put in, these, in this herd of pigs, and then they just killed the pigs. So here's what I wrote. Fallen angels, because that's what demons are, were supposed to support life on earth, but now they just want to destroy it. Do you realize that the purpose of angels is to minister to God and to minister to God's people? And everyone should be God's people, but we know from the first demonic thing, which was Satan um, tempting Eve and then Adam to, to disobey God. Um, we should all be God's children, but that's obviously not what's happened. So many people love to be independent from God like Satan is. But the purpose of angels is to help people. And so what's the, what's the purpose of fallen angels? To simply destroy. Isn't that sad? So they, I mean, because I was like, why in the world would they just want to destroy pigs? And, and they did. So they're just they're just destructive creatures. And, and don't we see so much destruction in this world? Now, I wrote earlier in Matthew that, you know, the devil is not the problem. It's people giving in to the devil. And so when people give in to demonic ideas and demonic things, what are they doing? They're destroying life on earth, aren't they? You know, I look at just human trafficking, which that just, it just breaks my heart. Could you imagine being trafficked? And could you imagine someone you love, especially your child, being kidnapped for that? I also heard that, that some terrorists are, this is horrible, some terrorists are actually taking out the organs, like kidnapping kids and taking their organs and selling them on the black market to support, um, financially support their terrorism. Isn't, isn't that horrible? Just, just think of all the destruction. And then the things that are not as well known, you know, or things that are uh, just more common as far as, um, you know, think of um, selfish parents, uh, selfish spouses. Uh, selfish children and college students, you know, that, that are just um, hurting the people around them. 
um, because they're not living for God and not living for truth. So that's what demons want to produce in this world. They just want to destroy. And then to finish it up, verse 33, finish up this chapter. Those who fed them fled and went away into the city and told everyone, including uh, in everyone, including what happened to those who were possessed with demons. Behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. When they saw him, they begged that he would depart from their borders. Isn't that crazy? I understand them being upset about the pigs. I do not understand them being upset or still saying what they said, asking Jesus to depart after he, he healed and cast out the demons of those two people. And so that means that people can now pass through that area. Jesus helped them but they were afraid and they asked him to depart. And so I wrote this, and this is harsh. Hell is for those who consciously or unconsciously ask Jesus to depart. Is that you? Do you not like Jesus' ways? And have you asked him to, to depart from your life just like they asked um, him to depart from their borders? He helped them out. He helped these two men drastically because they were no longer demon-possessed. And yet these people were scared and they asked Jesus to go away. So don't be the kind of person that asked Jesus to go away.